There was a period of like nine months where I really hated frozen yogurt. Bet you weren't expecting that. So I'm gonna talk about that. Sorry, it's been a while. Finals week sucks. Here goes part one of a two-part story of my crazy weekend in my aunt and me. Or you could just interrupt me with a title screen like that. That's cool too. Here you go. Once upon a time, it was last summer, I was spending a weekend in Miami. In Miami, 305! Mr. 305! Mr. Worldwide! Give me, give me a football song. Bring it, bring it back, bring it, bring it, bring it back. Hey! More where that came from. Anyways, yeah, Miami. And my dad's like, hey, I'm gonna be working for the day. Where should I drop off you and your cousin Troy? We were like, leave us at the Edison, Edison Mall. <laughs> We're like, leave us at the Dolphin Mall. I remember it being the best mall because it had a huge two-story Borders. I was so excited. I love books, love bookstores. There's gonna be a Borders. I can stay there for the whole day and just read books. Yeah! He drops us off to the mall for the day. But the thing is, at the time, neither of us really knew anyone in Miami. So Troy and I, Troy's my cousin, Troy and I set out to make friends that day at the mall. And we did. And it was pretty interesting. We show up at the mall. I run into where the Borders was. Not anymore instead it was a one-story toy store they didn't even use the second floor i was super disappointed so in an angry rage i went up to the guy at the register and like hey where's borders ah! he was like borders shut down months ago Wow. Troy and I are at the mall. You know how they give samples at the mall and food court or whatever? What Troy and I did is we went through all the stores, including this chocolate store, Lindt. Lindt chocolate. Lindt. Lindt. You know that chocolate? The one I'm talking about? They were giving samples too. So we went around to all the stores, got samples, put on fake mustaches. Because I always got to be ready with that fake mustache. Always gotta be prepared with a fake mustache. Put on fake mustaches, went around the food court again, got samples again, including the chocolate store. What? Later on, we go to this music store and we see these two girls, two teenage girls. We're two teenage guys. Perfect. So we're in this music store and we see these two girls at a piano. One of them's playing the piano, the other one's just kind of sitting there. The girl that's playing piano is just playing the beginning of Someone Like You by Adele over and over again. <laughs> kind of jokingly, I was like, I'll sing the song while they play piano. Why did I even say that? Troy, the whole time, is like, wow, this is small. Okay. Yeah, man, go ahead, do it, man. Go ahead, do it, man. But you know, I'm outgoing. I mean, it takes a little bit of a nudge to get me doing something outrageous like that so he eventually convinced me because he was so persuasive yeah man go ahead and do do it man dude you said you would do, go ahead and do it man sorry about that impersonation troy that's not how you sound at all that is how you wear your hats though but um so i went and did it i sat next to them and i'm like hey baby you playing adele she's just like yeah it's adele it's someone like you uh may i sing along uh yeah ha 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 once they start hearing my beautiful i heard that you're silky married now velvety i couldn't give to you chocolatey old oh, friend rich hate to turn up out of the blue and white but i very white sounding never mind i'll find someone like you voice they were just captivated first they started laughing but then we all just kind of got comfortable it broke the ice and we started talking troy the whole time was just singing the baritone part because he's a good wingman never mind i'll find that's all that's all you need to hear we eventually leave the store start walking around the mall talking, getting to know each other, having a good time. Troy always has his eyes on the prize. So he was like, dibs on the younger girl. And I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, but then she kind of like walks off with this other guy that I guess she knew. And then later we find out that she was like 14 or 13 or something. So Troy was like, you know what I said? Just forget it. Dibs on the older girl. And I'm like, okay, go ahead. Let's call her Freshy Fresh for now. So it was us and Freshy Fresh and the other girl with like another guy. We didn't really talk to them. But Freshy Fresh was really cool. She struck a chord with me because she went to a Christian school. So she listened to Christian music and I'm super into Christian music. So it was like, oh, ah, ah. But then you know how Troy is. He was all like, what's your Instagram? So they take a bunch of Instagram pictures. Yeah, these girls had swag. They're pretty cool, wore sunglasses had looking their face and all. So we were feeling pretty confident. We were making these like, you know, friends here and it was nice. My dad only gave us like 10 bucks. So we were balling on a budget. That's why we ran around the food court like five times to get samples. Even though I'm balling on a budget, still a gentleman. So I invite them to get frozen yogurt. Back to the frozen yogurt thing from the beginning, from the intro. Remember that? 
at the frozen yogurt store, we get a little sample cup, push down the lever to try a little bit. You know how it is. You've been to a frozen yogurt store, right? I push down the lever to get a little sample and it fills up the cup, but then it doesn't stop. And I'm like, keep pushing down the lever, see if it'll stop and it doesn't stop. Frozen yogurt gets all over my hand, my arm, and I end up holding it like this, a giant glob of frozen yogurt like that. I managed to stop the thing because I pushed the lever back up. What do you know? Who knew? At this point, the whole store goes quiet. The lady in the front went to the back to get something. There were no employees within sight. It was just me, this giant glob of frozen yogurt, Troy, Freshy Fresh, and a couple other people in the restaurant store frozen yogurt plates. I'm there for like 30 seconds just thinking of what to do. What I did was I ate it all at once. Just imagine that. I'm not gonna reenact it. <laughs> Dang it, so I don't wanna reenact it. Lick my arm clean, lick my shirt clean, and it was delicious for like one second. And then I got the worst brain freeze of my life. It started off like a normal brain freeze. Here, you feel it. I tried the thumb thing in my mouth to try to warm it or something. Nothing was working. And it just got worse and worse and worse. You know, then my vision started going. Everything just went black for a little bit. Got an icebox where my heart used to be. Fading away out of consciousness. I was on the ground writhing in pain. <laughs> it was really bad. I almost blacked out. I almost told Troy to call 911. It was that bad. Everyone else in the store is just like, Yeah, but I eventually came back, realized what was going on. We ended up not getting any yogurt because I was traumatized for the rest of my life. Hanging out with Freshy Fresh, she showed us a secret spot in the Dolphin Mall. It was like on the second floor and you can overlook this giant hallway. I'll show you if we ever hang out at the mall. It was really cool. And we stayed there for a couple hours, her and I and Troy and that other girl. Yeah, taking pictures, hanging out, getting to know each other, exchanging phone numbers and Twitter information. They left. We left. We all had a great time. That was part one of my crazy weekend in Miami. I'll make a part two eventually. It's way crazier. Part two involves the police getting stranded in the Everglades and the Wendy's girl. And a little more freshy fresh. Hope you like that story. Subscribe if you want to know what happens next. Like if you like frozen yogurt. Comment if you've ever been to the mall. Any mall. Comment. Which one? Edison Mall? Yeah. And share this video with someone that you want to go to that secret spot with. <laughs> Oh, isn't there a song, A Place Only We Know or something? Yeah. Place Only We Know. Something like that. There's a song. Comment with the song if you want. I don't care. Whoa, what? Chicken butt? They don't even know you. I should turn the camera to you now. No, he was racist. They know me by name. Obviously, they know who I am. <laughs> they didn't... Bye!